Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to fold a bell flower. This is a traditional model. I'll be using a six inch sheet of kami. And we're going to start with the colored side down. And then we're going to fold in half along the vertical and the horizontal lines. So I'm going to start by bringing this right edge over to meet this left edge. Line that up all the way down and then crease. And then unfold. Then I'm going to bring the top edge down to the bottom edge. And then crease. Next, I'm going to bring this top edge here down to lie along this center crease. So bring that top edge down, make sure it lines up, and then crease. And then turn the model over and do the same thing on this side. Bring that top edge down to lie along that center crease. And then crease. Oops. There we are. And then pick the model up. And if you look into this pocket here, you're going to open that pocket up and bring this right corner, this right, the point on the right and the point on the left, bring those together like this. And lay it down flat. Press everything down firmly. Now you have a preliminary base. You should have two flaps on the right, and then two flaps on the left. Next we're going to make a squash fold. We're going to start with just one flap on the right here. Just swing it all the way over, like this, and crease that. That's just so it can swing freely here. Then with that same flap, you're going to open it up, stick your finger in here, and start to open that out. And then you'll see this center, this crease line right in the center here. You're gonna make that line up with this center line here as well. So once that all lines up, make sure it goes all the way to the top. Crease both sides. And then turn the model over. We're going to do the same thing on this side. So swing that right flap over to this. And then we'll open that up. And as you're opening it, a lot of times I find it's easy if you kind of tap at the top there if it gets stuck. And make sure that center line lines up. And then crease both sides. Next we're going to make a book fold right here in the center. So we'll just swing this flap over like this. Just like you're turning the page of a book. And then turn the whole model over. And make another book fold here. Then we're going to do another one of those squash folds on this flap on the right here. So open that up. Make sure it all lines up. And then crease. And then turn the model over. We'll do the same thing with this flap. Just 
line it up and crease. Now everything should look like this. And now we're going to make a petal fold on this, these two flaps here. So we'll start by taking this bottom left edge here. We're only going to use one flap at a time. So we're going to line that bottom left edge up with this center line here. So swing that over, just one flap. Line it up and crease. That crease should go all the way to that bottom point. Then do the same thing on the right side. Just bring that bottom right edge in to lie along that same center crease. And then crease it all down. Should look like this. And then unfold both of those. And now we're going to turn that into a petal fold. And a, a couple different things will happen at once. But we're going to lift this pocket open right here. And as we do that, we're going to form both of those valley folds that we just made. Now once those folds have been creased again, we're going to extend those out. So that's going to form a crease where that crease meets the edge into this center crease here. And easiest way to do that is to do kind of both sides at once as you swing the flap upwards. Like this. So on the left side and the right side the same thing is happening. That crease is going from this point up to that center point at the top there. Should look like this. Then you can swing that flap down. Like this. And then turn the whole model over and we're going to do the same thing on this side. So we'll bring this bottom left edge in to lie along that center crease. Crease that down. Same thing on the right side. Then unfold both of those and we'll turn that into the pedal fold. And if you didn't notice on the last one as we do it, it forms a valley fold that connects these two creases. So you open that and swing it up. And it'll start forming that valley fold and then use those two existing creases, close those up. Try to swing it up to the top. Make sure everything's lining up and then just crease it down. And then swing that flap down. And then we're going to do a book fold. So swing this flap over, like turning the page of a book. Then do that one more time until it looks like this. Then turn the whole model over and do two more book folds. One and two. So everything should be symmetrical again. And we're going to do another pedal fold right here. So swing that bottom left edge into lie along the center crease, same on the right. Then unfold those, open the flap up, reform all those creases, swing the point all the way up. this and then turn the model over and one more pedal fold here going a little 
faster now. Line those in with the center. Unfold. And then form that pedal fold. And there we are. Now swing that flap down. And I just remembered I forgot to do that on the other side, so I'm gonna turn it over and swing the flap down here. So everything should look like this. And the next step is a little difficult to follow. So you can start by just watching first. You're gonna open the whole model up most of the way. So if you just open it up and look at it from the inside, open it up about this much, you'll see these longer vertical creases here. What we're gonna do is take that vertical crease, swing it over to the left like this. I'm gonna open it up more so you can see that better. So this long crease here, I'm gonna form that and swing it to the left. These are all existing creases, so don't worry about that. It should form right away. And then we're going to extend this valley fold right here all the way over there. So using this existing valley fold, just swing this flap down and this top point is going to meet all the way into the center here. Like this. Swing down just like that, and then I'm gonna rotate the model and we'll do the same thing with this long edge here. Fold that down. And then swing that point down to the center. And then rotate again, do the same thing with this long edge. Fold it over. Swing the point down. Then we have one more here. Bring that edge over, and then swing the point down inside. And then make sure you have firm creases everywhere, and you're all done.